We have these English muffins, toasted to perfection. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack these up like pancakes. Get a cleaver. There'll be some comments about this technique. Oh my God, you're gonna lose a finger. He didn't go to chef school. This is trial and error. By the smell of things, there's not too much error. Mayhem Loren in the building. I had a dream one day about making Hennessy shrimp. So I literally dreamt up three different Hennessy shrimp recipes. One, two, three ways. Cheers. The first Hennessy shrimp recipe is a stuffed Hennessy shrimp with an infused cognac butter at the end. Cognac of choice, Hennessy. I'm from Queens, why wouldn't it be? We're gonna get started with that right away. First step, Hennessy. Heat up the Hennessy, set it on fire, heat up the butter, let the butter merge with the Hennessy. Then we're gonna bring it to a rapid chill. At the end of the equation, it'll be drizzled. My drizzle game is so serious. Look at this merging. You wanna cook it at a low temperature because no one likes to taste the ground butter. Throw a little kryptonite in that. A little salt. You can't just cook with two senses. Smell is important. I'm about to clean my chain in Hennessy. The fusion is done, and you know? I'm for a rapid chill. These English muffins will become part of the most amazing stuffing you ever had in your life. We'll generously put some garlic butter on each piece. We're just gonna toast this, mix that with the crab meat and a few other ingredients. Stuff the shrimp. Voila. This is good. So as you see, I toasted them under the broiler, then I flipped them, toasted both sides. It's all about equality, you know? All right, it's now time to make the stuffing for the shrimp. Don't be afraid to get your little hands dirty. I'm gonna dump this in here. We're gonna dump this crab meat here. I don't practice or preach violence, but if anyone gives you imitation crab meat, immediately harm them. We don't want that. Gonna put some parsley in here. Never put a knife to basil. I mean what I say and I say what I mean. Nice pepper. A little olive oil, a little salt. Lump crab meat, olive oil, parsley, basil. I'm just breaking up this English muffin a little more. The name of this segment is Splash! No party like a Hennessy party. I'm gonna de-head these shrimp. That's why they don't serve shrimp with the head on, because if you saw this, you might not eat it. Right down the middle. Shell comes right off. Ugh, get that out of here. No one should eat that. Now you see my drizzling technique. That's how things get done. I'm gonna place these little babies very close in proximity. Hopefully fit as many as we can on the tray. I like this, I like to take time and plate things like, you know, making something I dreamt about. No pun intended, this is the stuff dreams are made of. Splash! This is that good pecorino. Where you bring pecorino to the party and dance moves happen. Yo, this is a wild concoction. This is the star of the show. We're gonna mix up the Hennessy butter. Throw in a little brown sugar, throw in a little salt. Anyone can do it. I dreamt it and I did it. Okay, I think we're ready to go in the oven. 350, 15 to 20 minutes. Hold on, let me prepare you something. All from a dream. Crab meat, Thomas's English muffins, love, lust, and Hennessy. We're gonna drizzle a little more Hennessy butter on top before we serve. We're gonna give it a shot right now. Stuffing first. This is amazing. Get this out of here, I don't deserve it. What's next? What kind of party do we have next? This is a simple recipe. Panko batter fried shrimp with a Hennessy glaze. Whoa. It's quick, 10 minutes, you'll be good, you'll be satisfied. Let's get started. What a breading process. I'm breaking eggs. What are these, extra large tiger shrimp? We're gonna drop these in here. All of them. Give them a good coating. Panko's just, it's lighter. There's no seasoning with panko, which is a good thing, because this is about the glaze, so we really just wanna flash fry these and take them home with the Hennessy glaze. I actually have flour here, but I don't feel like I need it today, so we're just gonna leave it there. 
Um, it's like a game of hide and seek. You cover them and you try to find the shrimps, you know? Make sure they get coated fully. Honestly, this is something that I picked up from Action. Action punches the chicken. So if he can punch the chicken, why can't I punch the shrimp? You know what I mean? And it's fun. Like, who doesn't want to punch a bowl of shrimp? Like, a midday shrimp punching? Like, why wouldn't you? Shout out to the good brother, Bronsolino. Light fried olive oil, not deep fried in some other shit. You here for the flip? We're good right now. As you see, these are crispy, crispy golden brown. Damn, these are pretty amazing. I had the last few. You know, hide and seek, you got a couple just in the cut. But you know, the longer they sit, the better the coating. You see, like, the last batch is always the best. The oil's the hottest, they sit the longest, you know? Here we have beautifully fried tiger shrimp. Yeah, we're about to make the glaze now with the star of the night, Hennessy. There we go. Look at that alcohol escaping. We miss you. Whoa. Look at that. Should probably hold this far away from there, right? This is a picture. Photo op, please. I like to appear to be in deep thought by fire. Brown sugar. I mean, this is gonna be amazing. It's basically gonna be Hennessy infused sugar. And why wouldn't you want that? A little honey in here. I'm gonna put a habanero in here. Whole. I don't wanna cut it, because I don't want it to, I really don't want it to be too hot. I just want it to have a habanero accent. Hint of lime. I actually was dreaming that more foods were cooked with Hennessy, so I had to figure out how to do that. I've had Hennessy wings. That's really about it. I haven't had any other kind of Hennessy anything, so I felt I had to fix that. Turn this up a little bit. We got a thicken this. The butter, just a dab, just a healthy dollop. Now we'll bring it back down. I'm not exactly sure why, but I feel it needs to cool a little bit. That's just what I think. I could be wrong. This is the first time I'm doing this, but I usually trust my gut. And now we're gonna put these back in, toss them real quick. I could have kept it on the side as a dipping sauce, but Something tells me this needs to be tossed. Here we have it. Tennessee shrimp way number two. Glazed to perfection. Let's give it a shot. From my dreams to your reality. This is crazy. Like, look at this. It's not even shrimp, it's just a little piece of panko covered in glaze. We could sell that. I could sell that off the hood of my car and make a fortune. The third shrimp is uh, kind of my twist on an, an au poivre sauce. So instead of uh, having steak and beef stock, we're doing shrimp and shrimp stock. If you were wondering why I saved a bucket full of shrimp heads, and shrimp shell, we're making stock. When you got this good head meat from one of these sea bugs, sh shell head water, oh yeah, splash! You know what's going on here. A little Hennessy in the stock, why wouldn't I? Mmm, delicious. And I'm gonna need a skillet. You know what that means when the skillet's on the way? It means the blowtorch is on the way. It means the fire's on the way. We got all the tools of destruction in one section. First things first. Whoa, we get that Hennessy shaking. I actually need a little bit more. Who am I kidding? Let's get my old chum, Mr. Blowtorch. I know it's real when the blowtorch is present. And once again, we're just gonna look at this fire while I sip. This is real ritualistic. Fire, spirits, a good sweater, a nice human. And the fact I'm the same complexion as Hennessy lets you know it's fate. First step, throw these shallots in here. Shallots and garlic go hand in hand. Let this brown a little bit. Yeah, now nah, this is a French recipe. You know we need butter. And we're gonna use a lot of butter because that's what the French would want. I cook the butter at a lower temperature because it's easy to burn butter. 
It's time to pour some of this stock in here. I don't want to start acting like a professional because, because there's cameras are out. This is the same dangerous way I would do it at home. Oh my God, look at that stock. How does this room smell right now? It wouldn't be a black pepper sauce without black pepper now, would it? And just because we put in full peppercorns doesn't mean we're not going to add a few crushed ones too. Well, being that this is a French-inspired piece of art, you know we're going to add some heavy cream. You know they love butter and cream in France. That was a little salt. We want this to thicken though. We want, I want to dip this in, I want it to coat the fork a little more than this. In the meanwhile, we're going to bring out the star, the bowl of shrimp. And we're going to season these straight, we'll splash them with a little garlic powder, a hint of oregano. And then we're going to just drop these right in. Ooh. Ooh. It's almost ready. I'd say another minute and a half. If that, when I douse the pasta in this sauce, the pasta's gonna go crazy. The pasta's gonna catch a DWI. This, is, this seems like a good fettuccine. We're gonna olive oil it. Are there any red chili flakes floating around? Some crushed red pepper? You know it's real when it rains chili flakes. Is there uh, some kind of pecorino floating around? This is a masterpiece by itself right here. Any basil floating around? It's floating basil. It worked out. You know we gotta rip that. Oh, this looks amazing. Brand new basil to save the day. This is crazy. I don't even wanna ruin that. I'm just gonna take a one right out the pan. Hands down, best shrimp of the day. We saved the best for last. I really don't know how. This is the best thing I've had all day. I feel like we're just getting started. Once these cameras go off, I'm about to make three more for the next segment. Shrimp 65 Ways Cookbook coming soon. Yes! Yeah! Yes! <laughs> uh! Okay.